Oh, Dios mío. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts back at it again. And yes, I've been reading a lot of your comments and suggestions down below um, from Mariah Carey. And this one was a standout, guys. If it's over, um, SNL 1991 live. I'm looking forward to this, guys. Very, very excited and seeing what she's got for me. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear your feedback. It makes videos like these all the more possible. And also, take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. As always, as always, it hasn't even started and I'm already feeling it. I'm already feeling it. Much like the uh, the, the emotions like the the last one I did with uh, MTV um the unplugged, the unplugged version. This was on SNL. She's sounding fabulous already. The lower register coming in. Uh, she could just... This woman can sing, guys. This woman can sing. By the way, instrumentation coming in. Nice, soulful, very jazzy. Love it. Love it. Guitar, piano, drums. Feeling it. Feeling it already. Won't you talk to me? Oh. This is so out of here. My God, oh my God, melting. Notice the the piano and the instrumentation with the drums. How it it steadily follows her voice and it matches everything perfectly, along with the vocal harmonization provided by the backing vocalists in the back there, as you see. It's just fantastic. Her runs, we know, are epic. She's always going to slay. She's always going to slay with her runs. But it's the, the, her transition, of course, from uh, her runs and how she just does it so, so uh, up and down, like so, so, so smooth, so silky, so good, so good. In so many Oh my god. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. If it's over, just let it go, guys. If it's over, just let it go. A, a romance that has been withered, that has been t has been tainted, you know? She's uh, she's asking her lover, if it's over, just let me go. Just let me go. Very emotional, very deep, very soulful. I like the I like what I like the approach that they decided to take this in. Um, as far as composition goes, because uh, you know it's a it's it's a song that's that that's very deep deep. So they decided to take a a soulful approach, a soulful approach, and Marang slain slain with vocals. By the way, by the way, guys, vocal gymnastics not easy, not easy to do, not easy to do. Only a queen, a queen can 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 do this uh, with so much so effortlessly, and she's doing it. She's doing it. Um, but I think this is her height, the height of her career. In the nineties, by far, she's she's slain, slain guys. Saxophone. Ooh. E five. E five. Kill it, girl. Kill it. If it's over, let me go. E5, and then she's going to an F5 here. My God, this woman is incredible. She's incredible. Vocal gymnastics, supreme, supreme. Um, I want to say that 
their instrumentation is being slayed, guys. And we're getting a lot of different instruments. instruments baritone, tenor, alto, soprano, saxophone notes, pianos, trumpets, horns, bass. We're getting it all. We're getting it all. Live, live, live. What a stunning, stunning to be there and, and witness this and see this before your eyes. Tru truly, truly remarkable. Uh, this doesn't happen anymore. This doesn't happen anymore. Slay, slay, slay on pianos too. F I'm feeling it. I'm feeling all of this. That's right. That's right. Oh. oh. Dios mío. Sing it, girl. Sing it. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my pants. I'm gonna lose my pants. This is a very different reaction. Um, it's it's because it's just it's a very slowful, slow type of song. So I'm not I'm not accustomed from to hearing this this type of stuff. And coming from her, my God, she's just slain, slain. By the way, I love these little um notations that I because I couldn't find the video. The quality the the quality on YouTube was very horrible, so I had to look for another one. And this was the best I could get, guys. So I'm gonna have to ump up up amp the volume for you guys so you can hear it but you know what she is slaying she's slaying guys vocals oh my god oh my god and um let's give credit to the backing vocalists because they're doing a great job to give this more height um by the way carol kane on the project she chased her apparently she chased her to do a song um and fabulous fabulous <laughs> God. Holy baloney. You want to talk about a, a live performance. Devalicious. Devalicious. A, a live performance um, coming in um, and, and doing this song like that. Uh, giving it all your go. I, I, my, my, I, I felt like my boobies were going about to, about to fall off. I swear. I had to hold them. I thought they were going to fall off. My God. She t totally killed this thing. She totally killed E5, F6, all these different all, all these different note ranges she was in. Vocal gymnastics, only a queen can do. And, and she slayed, guys. She slayed. Uh, not many people can do that. Um, and sound good, too, at the same time. You know how some singers, they just scream, you know? And, and But she's smooth and velvety. Smooth and velvety. Her notes are smooth and velvety, and that's what I like about her. Um, highs and lows, vibratos, runs, she did it all. And it showcased, it showcased her, her talent and showcased her, her true, true um, abilities of, of doing this. Yeah, I said that Carol Keene chased her because apparently that's what it was. She fell in love with her voice. I don't know if this was um, during the Divas, uh, you know, the whole Divas thing. They, they had the, the, the Divas 1990... I don't know. I forgot what year it was with Shania and Gloria Stefan and, you know, and, 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 um, and all the others and Mariah herself. But, um, she, she wanted, she flew out to New York city for one day in hopes to writing and composing a ballad of some sort for her. And, uh, throughout the day, the two songwriters exchanged musical ideas, melodies on the piano. And it was, if it's over came into conception in an interview following the collaboration, King said the following regarding Carrie. I just love her voice. She's very expressive. She gives a lot of meaning to, to what she sings. And that's exactly what she did here. So that's exactly what she did. Unbelievable. Very down-tempo, very battly, very jazzy, very soulful. So far, I was getting kind of churchy vibes. Churchy vibes with the, with the choir, almost like a choir in the back. Um, but that was because the backing vocalists were giving so much lift. Both male and female, by the way. Both male and female. Um, and she was drawing inspiration, I guess, with this performance specifically, um, with a lot of those kind of like R&B soul, um, jazz elements. And she did such a great job, guys. Great job. So who was behind there in the back? Well, I did some research. Uh, Lou Delgado, baritone saxophone. Um, Lenny Pickett with tenor saxophone. Uh, George Young with alto saxophone and Earl Gardner with trumpet. There was that trumpet I, I heard. And Steve Turr on trombone. There was trombone too. So trombone, saxophone, and trumpets, guys. Uh, by the way, backing vocalists were Trey Lorenz, P 
Patrick McMillan, Melanie Daniels provided a back of a Walter Affixnoff um, piano. Oh my God, I butchered his last name. Apologize, apologize. Seventeenth uh, season of Saturday Night Live with Can't Let Go. She appeared and she was wearing this black leather sports jacket, very looking, very fabulous, with her curly hair like that. And she was wearing pants and boots. Guys, you saw what she did there with her with the microphone. I, I didn't want to stop it too much because I didn't want to ruin it. But she's like pulling away as she sings. That that's how powerful her voice is. The microphone's like all the way down here, and she's like this, pulling away. It's it's just tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. And she's got all this behind her to give her. She's like, I'm not playing. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna slay. And that's what she did. Uh, vocal gymnastics, guys, up and down, up and down. Singing high, 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 high. And even the quarterly of this, this this audio was not that great, but I was still be able to make it out because that's how high she sung. I was still able to make it out. So there you go. So let's talk about this song a little bit. Um, originally released in uh, September 17th, 1991, for her second studio album, Emotions, I would like to hear the original. Um, uh, I have to look at that album. That album must be legendary. It must be legendary. Um, and you know, obviously I said Carol King was, was, uh, responsible and also Walter for, for production, but, uh, uh, lyrically it, it deals with the romance that has kind of like shambled, kind of shambled. Um, I don't know if it's over the years or over time. And, um, the protagonist is asking her lover, if it's over, let me go. In this case, Mariah Carey, if it's over, let me go. I want to move on. I want to move on. Be 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 uh, up front. Be up front. Come clear. You know, come clear. Several months of the release of Emotions, Carrie performed a song during her appearance on television. So MTV Unplugged. She has another uh, performance of this on MTV Unplugged. Uh, you know how that thing went. Uh, I heard that thing was it was amazing. All of her songs. I did Emotions. That was that knocked knocked my pants off, and I lost my pants on this one too. The live single version omits the second verse and chorus as the songs were shortened for the show. It received very limited release being featured on airplay single certain territories and the peak was in the Netherlands where it reached uh, number 80. Carrie performed If It's Over's live in the 34th Annual Grammy Awards as well. Oh my God, she did this three times. So there you go, guys. Amazing, fantastic. I'm surprised I didn't give my Derek reacts midway in this uh, performance, but you know what? Here you go, guys. Here you go. It's coming at you. Um, without a doubt. Until next time, for more Mariah Carey, please get, leave your uh, comments and suggestions down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, for more reactions, please comment. I'm looking at them, guys. I'm looking at them. Until next time, take care. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out. Help support the channel. Makes your voice, your recommendations, all the more possible. Take care, guys. Love you guys. Peace.